welcome to TLE Information and Communication Technology Computer System Servicing Exploratory Course for Grade 7 and 8. This learning resource hopes to engage the learners into guided and independent learning activity at their own pace and time. Furthermore, this also aims to help the learners acquire their needed 21st century skills while taking into consideration their needs and circumstances. To acquire skills and knowledge in this learning resource, you will be guided by the following competencies. Let's begin by discussing about the hand tools used in computer system servicing. Hand tools are useful for daily tasks. There are different types of tools which can be used for any kind of task to be performed. Some tools are versatile and some function is specific. When using the hand tools, proper use and precision is much more important than speed of work. Based on the type of task that has to be done, a craftsman must be adept with his hands as well as choose the right kind of tools. A tool is a handheld device that aids in accomplishing a task. Tools range from traditional metal cutting part of a machine to an element of a computer program that activates and controls a particular function. Using tools properly helps prevent accidents and damage to equipment and people. This section describes and covers the proper use of a variety of hardware, software, and organizational tools specific to working with computers and peripherals. Safe use of tools, environmental safety, and health program requires the following. The right tool must be used for the job. Each tool be examined before use. Damage or defective tools not to be used. Tools are operated according to manufacturer's instructions. And the right protective equipment for the tool and activity be used. For every job, there is the right tool. Make sure that you are familiar with the correct use of each tool and that the correct tool is used for the current task. A skilled use of tools and software makes the job less difficult and ensures that tasks are performed properly and safely. Now let's know more about the different classification of tools and their uses.
assignment. First, we have to cover our work surface with ESD protective mask. Anti-static wrist shop is worn on your wrist to prevent the buildup of static electricity. First, wrap the ESD strap around your wrist. Then, attach the other end to the common ground. With this crimping tool, each wire is first placed into the connector. And the connector with wires are connected into the crimping tool. And the handles are squeezed together. First, plug in the cable network into the appropriate port of your cable tester. Then, connect the other end of the cable into the remote. And switch on to tester cable. And this will show the result. How do you select the best tool for the job? First, know and understand in detail the scope of work to be accomplished. Second, plan for the scope taking into account the sequence of tasks. Selecting the best tool for each task requires training in the proper use of tools, experience, and following manufacturer's instruction. When obtaining the tool, all the associated tooling and consumable parts as recommended by the manufacturer must be included. In addition, related consumable parts must also be selected and used according to their manufacturer's instruction. If you take care of your tools, they will return the favor. Proper care and routine maintenance of your hand tools and power tools makes any home improvement or repair project easier, safer, and more successful. Proper care also saves you money because the better they're cared for, the longer they last. So make it a habit to clean tools after each use before you return them to storage. Wipe them down with a rag or old towel and be sure they are free of dust, grease, and debris before you put them into their proper places. This is also an opportunity to look for any damage or defects. Check your tools handles for splinters, breaks, and cracks. How much have you learned from our lesson for today? Please prepare a pen and a paper. You will be given 2 minutes to answer each set of questions. Good luck!
many items were you able to answer correctly? Awesome! That's good to know. I am so proud you did it. Before we end this session, let me leave you this quotation. Technology is an effective tool that can make education more meaningful and engaging for teachers and students alike. Once again, this is Mom Geraldine O. Moreto. See you in my next class. Thank you.